You are welcome to another video of the course Network Automation and Service Orchestration using Cisco NSO. In the previous section, we have started to use Python Magic Library to connect to Cisco NSO to navigate the configuration of network devices. In this section, we will see some other Python code examples to show, to clear, to change, and to delete the configuration of network devices via Cisco NSO. In continue, we will see some Python code examples using magic library to show or change the configuration of network devices. In the first example discussed in the previous sections, config navigation, we navigate through the configuration of a specific device. But in the first example, in this section, device iteration, we want to iterate through all the devices added in Cisco NSO dynamically and via Python code. This is the code to enter through devices configured in Cisco NSO. First, we create a read transaction to the root of Cisco NSO. As we discussed in the previous section, then we use root devices device to iterate through the devices and for each device we print out the device name the device model the device address and the device authentication group let's run the script and see the result of the first script in this section therefore python 3 this is the list of the devices already configured in Cisco NSO, CSR1000V, the IP address, and the authentication group, and the name of the device, and this is also true for all other devices configured in Cisco NSO. When you configure network devices through Cisco NSO, it is important that the configuration of network devices is already synchronized in Cisco NSO, as you know, sync from and sync to are two methods in Cisco NSO that you can use to sync the configuration from device to Cisco NSO or vice versa. This also applies when you configure network devices view Python code. As an example, let's change some configuration directly in the network device to unsync the Cisco NSO with the network device for example in the router R1 show IP interface brief let's delete the loopback interface 123 and 135 then we run a Python code that we will discuss in a few minutes to change some configuration in network device python 3 as we expect we receive the error out of sync therefore in this example we will see how the configuration is synchronized through the Python code sync from or sync to methods. This is the code after getting read transaction access to the root of Cisco NSO. We connect to the device r1 in which we are going to sync the configuration then we use sync from method to synchronize the configuration from network device to the cisco nso in the previous section we learned how to extract the list of methods using directory command uh, through the directory command you can easily find the methods like sync from or sync to in python magic library let's run the script python 3 and sync from devices 
Now that the configuration is synced between NSO and network devices, we can change the configuration via Python code. This is the code example to enable CDP protocol globally and also to create and change the IP address of interface loopback. The difference in this code is that we need to open a write transaction instead of read transaction to the root of Cisco NSO. Then we connect to the device whose the configuration we are going to change as an example R1. The other difference is that we need to enter to the config section of the device. Then the best way to find the path to any part of the configuration is X path, which we discussed in the previous section. Once we have the path, we can easily change the value via Python code like we did in this code to enable CDP and change or add an interface loopback and then change the IP address of interface loopback. Finally, we have to commit the new configuration via apply command. Let's run the Python code and then directly check the rotor interfaces to make sure that the new loopback interface is created. Before that, we have already seen the interface interfaces already in rotor R1. Now we run the script. We don't receive the error out of sync anymore because we have already synchronized the configuration of NSO and rotor R1, Python 3 and add the configuration and now we check again here we see that a new interface loopback is created in the rotor another important requirement to be met via python code is deleting a configuration which we are going to implement in this section let's open the script it is obvious that we need again a right transaction to the device to delete a configuration getting access to the root of NSO and network device and the configuration section is like all other code examples the key point is to use del command and then the pass to reach the interesting part of the configuration as always the pass to the configuration is extracted using NSO X pass option or display X pass that we have discussed in the previous section finally we commit the configuration using apply command let's run the script and make sure that new created loopback interface will be deleted with the python 3 and then 5 and then again we check the interfaces in the rotor you see there is no more interface loopback in the rotor again see the list of the script live status feature is another nice feature that we have already talked about in Cisco NSO which allows us to run every show or clear command in network devices but through Cisco NSO the next two script show commands and clear commands are exactly to run show and clear commands through the python magic live status function Let's check the first script. This is the script to run show IP interface brief command in a network device. The first part of the script is like always to get root access to the Cisco NSO and connect to the network device here, Rotor R1. For show and clear command, we need only read transaction. The method live status is what we need 
to run in device object to get live status feature in Python code. Then depending on the device type, we have different options to be able to run any exec command on a remote device. For example, we use iOS stat exec to run an exec command on iOS devices. It is very easy to extract these methods via the directory option. I've already extracted for the iOS, iOS XR, and NXOS devices, which are in order. For the iOS device, iOS stats exec. For the iOS XR, Cisco iOS XR stats exec. And for the NXOS, NX stats exec. And you can easily find the options through the directory method that we have learned in the previous section. Then to run show commands in the remote device, we always use show get input to get the show command itself as an argument. The exact command without show keyword will be given as an argument. In our example, we give IP interface brief command as the argument instead of show IP interface brief. Finally, show methods and the given argument will be used to run the exec command in the remote device. The result option will be used to get the result of show commands. Here we use the print command to print the result of show IP interface command on the screen. Let's run the Python script. Python 3 and then 6 and see the result of show IP interface command from rotor 1. This is exactly what we can see in the rotor itself. Finally, we run a clear command on a remote device using live status function in the Python script. Seven. This is exactly like show command, but we use clear get input instead of show get input method to get clear command as an example. The command will be given as an argument, but without clear command, exactly like show command. We give CDP counters as the argument. The command will be given as the argument, but without clear command, exactly like show command, as the result of clear command will be displayed using result method. Let's check Python 3, and this is to clear CDP protocol contest in the rotor R1. These are some of the most important scripts using Python magic library to show or change network device configuration through Cisco NSO. But there are many other options that can be run through magic library that you can find from GitHub or Cisco developer website.